Hey, how's it going? And I made a video before on uh, how to bypass this lid lock um, on a newer Maytag, but it's kind of vague. So I just wanted to make a new one. Um, so the way the lid lock works is it senses to make sure that the lid is closed, and then it'll run all the way up to uh, spin, and then that's when it it um, will lock the lid, and it needs. It needs to be locked like it at that time. That's why you can't just like you can't just trick it into being locked all the time like other washing machines. It wants it wants it at a certain time. Like if it's locked, it won't even start going. So what you got to do, um, or here's what I did, is you don't have to do this, but um, I just put some more wires here to just make it longer so that the switch switch sticks out. So if you just want, if you just cut the lid lock off, of course, turn the, the thing off, and you're going to take your wires here. So we have red, blue, and white, and then I just made them longer, and I didn't have any blue wire at the time, so just pretend this green one is, is blue. But then you're going to get an AC switch. This is an AC switch, 120 volts, okay, and you're going to take your this is a this is a single pole switch, so it's only got two um, leads on it. Don't get one with three; it'll just make it complicated. Um, you can get these at I don't know Lowe's for like two or three bucks, whatever. So a lot cheaper than the lid lock. Um, so you take your blue and your white wire, and you just strip them and splice them together, and put them on one lead of the switch, and then you take the red wire and you put it on the other. Okay, and then just let that hang out. And so what that's going to do is make it think that the lid is always closed. So just be careful. You're going to run it on normal, and it's going to get all the way to spin. And then um, that's when you flick the switch and turn the the uh, um, the lid lock on. Now it's really hard to get that timing right. So what we usually do is we just let it run, and it goes all the way to spin and just stops. And then we just um, unplug it and plug it back in, and then put it on rinse and spin, and then hit start, and it'll start um, filling. And then just like once you once you think there's enough water or whatever, you just flip the switch, and then it'll think the lid's locked, and it'll continue the cycle, and it'll finish it all the way. So, yeah, um, that's a pretty fucking good explanation, I think, on how to bypass. Out of out of all the washing machines I've seen. This one has the most expensive lid lock. It's ridiculous. So fuck that. Um, five bucks at Lowe's and you're set. Um, don't shock yourself. Make sure it's unplugged. I shocked myself a few times. It hurts. So thanks.